Hello, Pamela Spence, medical herbalist here, and these are my clinic notes for the week. Um, we've been thinking lots about resilience this week um, and how we build resilience into our lives. <coughs> Excuse me, both uh, for ourselves and also in our communities. That's something that's really close to my heart. Um, years ago, before um, my husband and I took over our clinic, and moved to the time we're in now, we stayed in a little village um, where a group of us got together um, who were infused by Transition Towns uh, by Rob Hopkins. If you haven't um, read the book, or the Transition Handbook it's called, which is about building resilience into local communities, getting back to nature, making sure that we're not sort of, you know, one snowstorm away from being cut off with fuel or, you know, with big changes coming up. Uh, soon in the UK, maybe one Brexit away from paying more for our food, um, that uh, building resilience in our communities become really important. And I was thinking about that and talking with patients about that. We've all had to pull, um, uh, pull dig deep into our resilience uh, this year in order to get through it. Um, and I've said that, you know, it is my word for 2020, along with the, the word, um, you know, adapting because we've been asked to adapt again and again and again and again. And we can only do that if we have inner strength and our communities can only function if we have um, if we have resilience in them. You know, when the lockdown came, first lockdown, which gosh, seems like a long time ago now, you know, the resilience that was built into our communities was in the local butcher and the, and the spa shop and the, the little places where you could go and get supplies. Um, and I feel like that's very important and be... Uh, towns would be far poorer for losing those things um, but also when you cannot get when the big supply chains fail and um, then sometimes those local supply chains are the only ones that we have to work on so for me um what that means is um looking to build resilience in myself in my family in terms of our physical capabilities so that means Eating with the seasons, which I talk about every season. If you look back at these films, you'll see uh, in my clinic notes, you will see that we check in at the change of a season, that we should be changing what we're eating. We're now going into the winter um, in my online community. We're having our monthly lesson this evening, um, the community for uh, busy women who do too much and don't know how to stop. Uh, we will be looking at the winter season and what those changes will bring to us for our bodies and how we need to respond to those to support our bodies, build resilience so that we don't end up catching every cough and cold that goes about. And in terms of, you know, the world now looking at, uh, at Christmas coming up, at Black Friday having passed or, you know, do not buy Black Friday, um, if you like, as many people observe, um, that mass consumerism that buying from abroad, that um, having things travel many miles to you, um, those you know cheap toys that end up in the garbage. And don't get me wrong, we have some of those in our house. We are not angels when it comes to that because I have a nearly seven-year-old son and, and that's what he craves. But where we can, we try to support local because if we do that, we build resilience in our local community. Um, and so... Uh, one of the other things we're going to be looking at tonight in my in my membership, my online community, um, is making presents, making gifts for Christmas with herbal themes. And I do think that it's something that um, has gained in popularity. So people are really touched when you have spent time to hand make them things instead of just click it on the Internet and, and have it delivered. Um, and so we're looking at things like Christmas chutney and cinnamon sweets and um, handmade creams and things like that, um, you know, beauty products, um, bath oils, uh, shower salt, you know, salts, uh, scrub salts for the shower. Um, and so I want to encourage um, encourage you, especially if you've got kids, uh, they love getting involved in making these kind of things. Um, it really doesn't take a lot um, to do and um, I always feel like those gifts are the best received um, and it builds resilience again it is about making things yourself um, uh, giving things that are natural and I firmly believe that the, the the easiest the simplest way to improve our resilience our well-being in terms of ourselves and our communities 
um, is to tune in to nature. It's available to us all, even when I was living in a flat in the east end of Glasgow, even if I opened my window, I could see sky and I could see trees and there was a bit of scrubland. Nature's all round. It's free for everybody to, to hook into. You can look and see what the season is doing and respond to that. So it's my firm belief that tuning into nature and following those rhythms is the easiest, quickest, simplest, um, cheapest way to support our health. Um, and we can mirror that out to friends and family by making, you know, naturally themed gifts uh, for Christmas that, that can be very, very simple to do. Because I found it to be true that if you opt for the natural choice, the, the one that's closest to nature, you also always opt for the one that is best for your health um, and is best for nature itself you know you do make greener choices you don't have to worry about what the greener choice is you just have to think about what the most natural choice is and that will always support us both best and it will always support nature best um, and so you know there's always times we need to buy stuff from amazon and um, maybe we get caught short or maybe it's the only thing that's going to light up that person for christmas and you know it but where possible um, there are so many recipes out there look out for some of them on my page as well um, on my Facebook page um, and there's some from earlier in the year making fire cider for example um, which is on the YouTube channel if you're watching this there um, I am looking forward to making some nice things for Christmas um, and uh, getting my head around um, some new combinations of, of natural ingredients um, that are simple uh, to do and don't cost very much either um, and buying things from my local shops when I can to help build resilience there um, and reducing my stress levels around Christmas so that of course builds resilience in me as well. I hope that's um, maybe given you a few ideas and new ways to look at things um, and as always I'm always happy to uh, hear from people about new recipes that they've discovered and ways they've discovered of doing things and I'm very happy to share mine. But meanwhile, take care.